Hello and welcome to this 7th lesson. This is Isla Edward at pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang user management. Pretty common sa mga administrator. This is a series and one of three at ang una natin gagawin ay pag-create ng user. Ano nga ba kapag sinabi natin user management? Simple lang, ito ay organization lang ng mga users. So, talk is cheap. Let's do this. As stated, in every platform, whether it's a server, workstation, or personal computer, you will be needing a user. For this lesson, gagawa tayo ng isang user account using a very simple command. First things first, you have to ensure that your current user ay mayroong sudo privileges. To ensure that, itype na natin ang sudo, followed by the user add, this is the command, and then ano yung preferred mong username. In this case, gagawa lamang ako ng add is list. And after that, I'm going to hit on enter. And that is a user created. Pero wala pa siyang password. For this case, all I have to do is to type in sudo, followed by the passwd as stated here, and then the username. In this case, Ed Isles. All I have to do is to type in a new password. Remember, at least 8 characters with alphanumeric keys combination. And then just repeat that same password. And then look, you have a password successfully updated and in this case, meron na tayong user. Soon, pag-uusapan natin kung paano lalagyan ng privileges ang user na ito. Continuing with the second command, gagamit naman tayo ng user add C. Ngayon, wala siyang pinagkaiba dun sa nauna natin. However, it would be a great practice kung meron description or comment yung ating user for easier identification. So, for instance, gagawa ulit ako ng bagong user, sudo, and then user add, followed by, uh, pangalanan ko naman to ng e is less for now. And then, don't forget na lagyan siya ng dash c for comment. And then, meron tayong double quotations. Inside, ilagay natin ang kung ano natin gustong value. For this case, Edward is less account. And I'm going to hit on enter. Same goes, kailangan mo lang siya lagyan ng password. And then, put that username again. And then just type in whatever you want as long as it is a good password practice. And then that's it. As you can see, same lang siya ng process natin. However, this one ay meron tayong dash C which stands for comment for easier identification ng ating account. As you know, sa isang organization, there are different groups. Diba? But uh, different scenarios, possible na ang mangyari is itong user na to should be assigned into this specific account. For example, meron tayong isang bagong hire, isa siyang accountant, so dapat lahat ng kanyang files should be pointed sa relation in accountant or accountancy. Diba? Uh, in other words, there are different types of groups na kung saan a user should be belonged. In that case, you have to make sure na dapat nakapoint ito in an appropriate manner, hindi pwede yung default. Okay, so for this case, simple lang yung ating command. But first, just to simulate an event, I'm going to create a directory by typing mkdir and I'm going to say, sabihin nating sales. Okay, and for this, meron na akong directory and uh, sabihin natin na gusto ko siyang i-check. Sales, meron ba tayong sales just to verify and that's it. Nakita ko si sales. Alright. Ngayon, gusto kong gumawa ng isang user na kung saan pointed yung kanyang specific directory. Yung mga nauna nating gawa is only for a general account but this one is more on specific. To do that, kailangan ko lang i-type si sudo user add followed by of course yung dash d. Once done, kailangan mo isama yung path ng iyong directory kung saan mo siya isasama. In this case, I'm going to use home kasi naka-home naman so tilde slash followed by sales. Okay, yun ang aking directory. And after that, ilalagay ko yung username na gusto kong i-add. For example, gagawa naman ako dito ng Edward I. No, I'm going to hit on enter. And then that's it. Again, same procedure. I-type lang ang passwd to put a user password dun sa ating kagagawang account. Followed by the username and hit on enter. Just type whatever you think is necessary as a good practice of password combination. Hit enter and then that's it. And for the last part ng ating user ad, maglalagay lang tayo ng specific ID sa user. This is pretty common, especially kung alam mo yung uh, specific designation ng isang user na dapat mong gawa ng account. In this case, I'm going to clear my screen first. 
and then I'm going to proceed with the simple command sudo followed by the user add and then the dash u. Now dash u meaning ito yung ID na dapat tong paglalagyan. No? This user should be assigned to this ID. For example, I'm going to type uh, 567. Ah sorry, 567. You have to ensure na wala pang ganung user. No, later on titingnan natin kung ano yung mga naging result ng mga previous nating command. Followed by that is lalagay mo lang yung kanyang specific name. In this case, I'm going to use edw is less. Same practice, sudo pass wd and ed, oops, sorry, w is less and then hit enter. I-type ang password that you can think of. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. By the way, pwede nyong pagsamasamahin ang commands na napili nyo. No, sa isang command, pwede kayong gumawa ng dash c, dash d, and dash u. So, for challenge is dapat makagawa kayo ng isang user na, meron, na siya ay assigned sa directory na marketing with a specific value na sa comment niya na Edward, or sabihin natin your name, pangalan mo talaga and after that, meron siyang specific ID na 444 so that's your challenge and try to do that